good morning you guys welcome or welcome back this is my first time talking since i woke up so you already know how that goes i was having a conversation with my mom yesterday and she sent me a voice memo this morning it's four minutes long but it is she just decided to speak some there's a bug in here she decided to really speak some truth this morning i didn't even get rid of any crust before i started filming so I apologize for that she just sent a voice memo that she was just speaking and i feel like you guys should hear it too considering the generation we're in and even the fact that i don't know that's gonna piss me off it's regarding social media and the fact that you're on it right now to watch this video i feel like it's the perfect reminder so and i mean girl that just really speaks to just things i've really been observing just about myself and i mean for one sunday I, well, I finally found a book that I could get into. And so I spent the majority of Sunday just reading because I realized the more I stare at my phone, it does not normally elevate my mood, you know, like the longer I'm on it. I've been talking to some of my clients about it because it's just really hitting me. Now we are so focused on aesthetics and how things look and how they appear and how they come across. And it's this whole alternate reality i don't know it's just it's wild it's wild for my generation who didn't grow up like this you know we took fucking polaroid pictures you know what i mean and had to wait weeks to get them developed it's this whole visual world that we live in we're so caught up in your generation especially especially your creator world your influencer world so much pressure to do certain things and live a certain way and it's just it is not that is not fucking real life i am so i'm just gonna slam the brakes on that because that is brand new over the last decade and it's not healthy you know obviously every generation experiences different types of peer pressure and things like that i mean for me it was you know smoking cigarettes for you guys it's living like a fucking millionaire at 20 and it's just it's terrible. I'm just going to say it. It is terrible. It's not healthy. How do you even fucking live up to that? You know, you can't just buy any furniture. It's got to look a certain way and feel a certain way on camera. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's too much. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. It may look good and it may be entertaining and you may like to watch it, but it's like Black Mirror in real life. What is actually going on? I know what we're seeing. But what is actually going on? I just wanted to touch on this, especially considering, you know, on this platform, including people that watch me, it kind of all, it all falls into the same category. And um, conversations like that, I mean, that's something I think about pretty much every day. But conversations like that really put things into perspective and how much, how do I even put it into words? Because she said and everything perfectly obviously without social media and me ever growing a platform which wasn't even intentional i started youtube for fun because i enjoyed making videos and i saw my parents doing the same thing i was filming little videos on my ipod right for years yeah i never intended on them doing well but whenever you know a couple videos started to gain some traction i started to you know become inspired to create even more content for people that were looking forward to my videos and that were giving me good feedback and that's kind of how i grew on youtube it was very organic it was never for the intentions of making money or i did not even know you could make money on youtube when i started so it was never created to make to be a business for me or for me to be successful on youtube that was never the goal and even now you know this platform has created um an amazing life for me and has provided things for me that i would have never experienced i'm not gonna say never but not nearly as soon would i've experienced these things um without youtube and that's why sometimes when people ask creators including myself for advice about how to do certain things i feel like we can only benefit you to a certain extent because i feel like it's almost unrealistic to ask people that have clearly had obviously with youtube and you know the way you can monetize things on here and the way it can pay you it really is like black mirror because everyone starts youtube for their own reasons and i know there is people that do youtube because they genuinely enjoy it and why is my hand shaking um 
I do YouTube because I've always genuinely enjoyed it, but it also does. It is also my job. So, because sometimes um, people ask me on my videos, what do you do for work? Because it's probably so confusing seeing such a young woman do all these crazy things and I don't show me actually working. This is my job. It's crazy how it can completely change your life. And I'm kind of going off track because I'm also just applying it to my own situation. But things now are completely focused on how things look and I enjoy making things look pretty and i create content to be entertaining for you guys um so a lot of effort goes into each video and um editing each video you know that's just what's enjoyable to do i guess but there is also a side of it where it can be so easy to get caught up in social media and be so you get so used to everything looking so good and people doing things by certain ages. Moving on at 18, it's cool, but it's not necessary at all. And I know that's being tone deaf because some people need to move out of their family situations due to other reasons besides just wanting to be successful at 18 and move into your own apartment at 18. You know, some people don't have, they're not fortunate enough to have a good situation at home where they can comfortably live and be provided for and I mean they could even be provided for but it could be a super toxic environment mentally and that's just really upsetting because that's something that you can't really help entirely sometimes and it completely affects you for a very long time so that's just like it makes me sad to think about people having to deal with things like that um but then there's also the other side where like I feel like watching people that have moved out so early do things so early buying this and i'm like speaking for myself too buying like a nice ass car at 18 for their first car like moving into luxury apartments so young it's so normalized in this gener generation but it's not normal at all and you should just remember to not feel pressured into doing certain things by a certain age just because of what you see on social media like clearly my life would be a lot different if it wasn't for what I do um and I'm not even saying that in a negative way it's just I guess it like this has been my life through all of my early I mean I'm a very young adult but this has like I've grown up with it pretty much um but you know I like having nice things I so thankful for the life that i live but these aren't the things that like that place i went to in my last video there was a sign that said the best things in life are not things and that's just so true it's okay i was trying to say like i am very thankful for the things i have having a super nice car like i get in that thing every day i don't fully express my gratitude but at least not on camera i don't express much on camera but if i didn't have youtube i know i remember the car i was gonna get before YouTube and having enough funds off of YouTube to be able to purchase myself something nicer was even a possibility. And there's nothing wrong with that car at all. I probably would have still been living at home. I was in such a rush, but if social media wasn't a thing, I wouldn't have even considered that, you know what I mean? And I just get got so caught into it that I'm now, tw I'm, I'm gonna be 22. Damn, like a little over three months in less than four months and it's just crazy and then if you present yourself a certain way on social media and people get used to seeing you that way there's going to be such a pressure to continue to maintain that and get better and better and better and you get so caught into it that you don't really think about from an outside perspective this shit looks insane it's not realistic at all and i will say that putting everybody into the category like only like basically because they're not relatable i mean if you don't want to watch content that's unrelatable that's completely fine but i wouldn't go to that person if i'm gonna watch someone living in a huge ass mansion at a young age driving these nice ass cars is that realistic for everybody no so and if i don't want to watch that i'm not going to but i'm not going to go to their page and say this is unreal you know because people are going to create the content they want to create but yeah this is just a reminder that social media is not real and it is okay to achieve things at different ages than what you're seeing on social media i'm not going to sit here and act like i don't live 
an amazing life. I really do. And I'm very thankful for that. But obviously certain things are specifically curated to look a certain way, to feel a certain way. Because like, for example, watching my videos, I want it to be an experience. That was a lot. But yeah, this shit is not normal. Shit is, it's just so sad how much energy goes into how things look opposed to how they actually feel and what's really going on. Please do not use Instagram. Well, my Instagram, I always say that I wish I didn't even have a explore page. I wish you could remove that option because it's just always something going on. Always something like this is so the overstimulation is mind blowing. It's but it's all in this thing without this that shit is not even like that's not real life at all i also did want to say although i live a certain way and i you know i've been blessed enough to acquire certain things and live a certain way i would never i don't sit here and judge somebody for living a different way or just not being so extreme in certain categories because as you guys probably know i can be extreme in certain ways and I don't think that's a bad thing, but I would never sit here and be like, oh, well, I just don't care because I don't. And that's one of the reasons you guys have never seen me have. Like I have some creator friends and, you know, that's great. They're great. But um, I don't go out of my way to make more and make a lot because that's just not even it's what I do. But it's not really the world I live in. Like, I'm not really obsessed with social media in the way you would think I am considering what I do. I just don't care about it to that extent. I don't care to, you know, I'm more of a person if it happens to happen, it does, you know, it will, but I don't go out of my way trying to make other friends that do what I do. I don't care what you do. If anything, I'd probably f prefer for you not to do it because I don't want to sit here and talk about YouTube all day. I, I don't even talk about it. <laughs> so food for thought for the morning. I'm going to take all my sheets off the bed because I need to wash them. I'm going to sanitize them with Oxy in the washing machine. And I really wanted to go to the beach this morning just to, just to be, to be. But I had planned on doing that a lot earlier. It's 8.51 right now, but realistically, I'm gonna have to ease my way into waking up earlier. This is solid considering the time I went to bed. I just want to do something, fit a few things into my day before it rains, cause it's supposed to be nasty all week. It was beautiful while filming my last video we got a good week of some sun but now it's looking a little gloomy by the weekend it's gonna clear up and it won't be excruciatingly hot that's another thing the earlier you wake up the cooler it is it is so hot in here oh my god Alright you guys, so today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. It's peak time for summer produce and HelloFresh makes sure you get all the best picks all season long. Their ingredients travel from the farm to your door in less than 7 days for quality you can taste. Also, HelloFresh provides more than just delicious dinners. It's now easier than ever to skip that extra grocery store run by adding snacks sides and more to your weekly order you can take your pick from a curated selection of over 100 items hello fresh's menu features calorie smart and protein smart lunch and dinner options plus new vegan dinners to choose from hello fresh also makes it super easy to reach your food goals with flavorful recipes that leave you feeling satisfied pre-portioned ingredients help cut down on food waste while step-by-step -step instructions make cooking a breeze which is very true. Everything is completely laid out in the card and that is all you need. It is so easy to make HelloFresh meals. If you guys are interested, feel free to go to hellofresh.com and use code ASLIA50 at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. Once again, you can receive this offer by going to hellofresh.com and using code ASLIA50 at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. All right guys, so before I even started listing things on Poshmark officially, I listed two things that I had just found at will that i loved they just didn't fit me including that skirt with the little star decals on the back i said somebody needs to own this so someone bought that for me last night surprisingly because i never even promoted those i just randomly posted them expecting nobody to buy them yeah i'm gonna go drop this off in the post office right now it's so cute so i really wanted to start my day by going to the beach i preferably would have loved to go earlier but we already had this discussion we can work on it um 
I was actually, you know, I was already leaving. I'm getting something to eat real quick. And I realized I didn't even know what beach I was going to. And there's this beach I've been wanting to go to that I've never been to. So I thought it'd be fun for us to go together. Just another location I've yet to visit. It's called Crandon Beach. And it's in Key Biscayne, which is literally an island. And it seems to be more secluded. And the beaches in Key Biscayne are never busy to the point Miami Beach, South Point, any of those beaches get. I don't even know what I'm getting. Yeah, I just want to like. I already know I'm not getting any sun, but at least, yeah, it's literally just 30% chance in an hour. But I'm not gonna be, let's see what it's like in Key Biscayne. Over there, it's only 10% chance at 12 and 1. So it's gonna be gloomy, but it's fine. I'm not really going to tan at this point. Hello, good morning. We're only at 17 cost right now. Um, okay, that's fine. Okay, um, can I get a number seven with an orange juice and a hash brown, please? Starbucks is right across the street, but McDonald's hands down has much better breakfast. I, I actually don't know how I ate Starbucks breakfast sandwiches for so long. I mean, if I'm in dire need to, I will, but they're not good at all. <laughs> like, they actually taste like plastic. I basically only have ones in here, I'm pretty sure. Cash is so dirty when you think about it. I never carry it unless it's given to me by someone else. Like I have. My hand sanitizer ready. Just a body spray. So we're going to the beach. Pacifica Island Vanilla Hair and Body Mist. And also this. Damn. Y'all, this is what it's like when it rains here. Man's is chilling in a lake. That is crazy. Yo, I got this mean cut on my hand. I was soaking off my nails and instead of using the drill, I used the metal. It's made for the scraping, but it looks kind of like a cuticle pusher, but it's not. Anyways, I missed my finger and I went into my hand. Oh my gosh, you know the type of cuts where no type of color at first and then it just, just starts bleeding randomly. That song reminded me of this one. <laughs> So I just got to the beach and I'm so excited because first of all, this park, this is a whole beach slash park area and my surroundings really remind me of North Carolina with the big trees and actually having land, some grass and just the beach, it seems more laid back. I haven't gone over there yet, but I feel like it's reminding me more of Carolina Beach or Wilmington Beach than Miami Beach in a good way. I started sobbing on the way over here. I was listening to music I pretty much grew up on, which is 10 times better than anything I listen to now. You just don't feel music in the same way anymore. Nothing will hit like the early 2000s music. I had chills the entire time. Like those are songs I actually know the words to. I actually feel something from, and I still get that from music and I don't always listen to music that makes me feel that way because I like other music as well, but it's, super nostalgic and it feels amazing to listen to but at the same time it's also like kind of hard for me sometimes because you know m me at this age um you know early 20s i feel like a lot of us definitely myself go through phases where it just clicks and reality sinks in then we're not kids anymore and i feel like for me it can be really hard to accept that sometimes that you know you'll never get your childhood back like you actually can't be a kid forever i don't know it's just hard to accept the transition of the fact that we're not kids anymore and that we're actually adults i don't know that's why i've never ever since i turned once i hit night 18 you know i was so excited to turn 18 and then every year after that obviously i'm so young so i sound i may sound kind of crazy thinking this way but i don't look forward to turning another age i was never so excited to turn 21 like a lot of people are so it's like okay just one step further from childhood which i don't know if that sounds i'm not even trying to sound lazy like oh i have actual responsibilities now. but i don't even know how to explain it but to reminisce on it and remember it so clearly and life just being so simple and just playing outside all day and just knowing that we had to go 
like come inside you know we just knew to come inside the house when the lights outside went on it's just been a really emotional day so far yeah i find that hard to accept sometimes for sure and i don't know if like you ever fully do because you never stop getting older it's the same brain and the same soul but your body like continues to change <sighs> the unknown can be scary i don't know maybe it's just me being a scorpio and being very sensitive um because i just i'll randomly cry like the most random shit i'm gonna try to like cool down but i'm at the beach now and i brought my journal so i feel like this is the perfect time to just like i don't know it's not even sad like i'm not sad it's just emotions and emotions are okay I just got back in the car from being out at the beach for I think a little over two hours. That was so nice and I'm so happy that I came. Although the weather, I mean it was in and out because it was sunny for quite some time. It got to the point where I actually put sunscreen on. But yeah, it was starting to get gloomy and also I didn't want to be here for too long. I didn't want to be in traffic. It looks like it's about to storm like bad, but I guess it's not bad enough for people to care because people are still making their way to the beach. But as you guys saw, some clouds look like something serious to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back. I currently, I haven't had one in months, but I have a canker sore in my mouth and it hurts so bad to simply speak when i'm brushing my teeth is terrible when it gets to the point i need to scrape my tongue eating hurts so bad and i'm just waiting for it to go away but yeah beach was great we only have a 30 minute drive back which is not bad for the beach It is 6 p.m. now. I was home for, I'd say, a good hour or so. Um, I ate a little snack before getting ready to go to the gym. So that's where I'm on my way to now. I'm going back in biceps today. And I really want to incorporate core. Your core is literally the core of your body. And without that being strong, you're not able to stabilize your exercises. It's going to lead to back pain and other injuries. And it's just crazy how I just, I barely do core. And I feel like I should be incorporating, incorporating that to at least a couple workouts a week. There's no need to be missing it like I do. But as far as my piercing experience, 10 out of 10, I really, I really just should have went there. 
or from the beginning but it's okay um you live and you learn i didn't know i'm very sensitive to where i get things done especially because i'm not in my home state where i already have my go-to places and people so i'm very hesitant but i was very adamant about just the placement and just you know really wanting that even because i already had to deal with it being uneven the first time homegirl had the measuring tape she had this other little stick thing to just make sure it was even it's already swelling so it's already starting to sink into a pit on the inside of my lip which is how you know it's swelling so it's gonna look a little off but it's right above the mark from where i got it before piercing itself it does not hurt that's why i wasn't even anxious going i mean i was a little bit nervous but not even as anxious as i've been for other piercings because one i've already had it done twice it's not bad i'd give the pain a solid two out of ten nearly all my piercings hurt more than that so that wasn't an issue also you may notice maybe not but the jewelry for both sides it's slightly bigger than it was before before i went in i had a i mean i only had the one but i had a very little ball which that was provided for me at the, t the last place i went to but that's not the normal size that they pierce you with so they didn't have those available so i got this one replaced she changed out the jewelry so it can match this one this piercing is only i'd say three weeks old but the swelling has gone down a lot it's not in pain anymore so i didn't even feel that which is good um it's really dark i'm so happy i have the snake bites now because this is what i was wanting i this is the piercing I wanted. So once it heals, I can switch them out to smaller jewelry, which I'll probably do. I like how the snake bites looks with the hoops as well that kind of hug from the inside of your lip, but you have to wait. She said you gotta wait a solid three to four months to um, switch them to hoops, but for the other, just the regular flat bags, a month or so is fine. Yeah, but piercing is done and we are en route to the gym.
to die too okay i'm gonna make this short and sweet but try not to like rush y'all out of the video so quick but that is gonna be it for today's video i'm currently in the car i have some shake shack which i just picked up got a pickup order i am so excited i've not had shake shack in a while i got a burger and i got some spicy fries with ranch and a half and half i'm I cannot wait but yeah i have an hour and 22 minute drive i'm about to take i'm going to be gone for the weekend so i have everything packed and i'm ready to go i got my food but i did want to close off this video properly i really hope you guys enjoyed it i feel like this was more of a definitely a collective vlog but i also feel like there was more visuals involved in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys in my next one bye